Hey, fourth grade trombones. Hope you guys are doing well. I miss you. All right. So today's lesson, we are going to start out as we always do with our mouthpiece. So just take out your mouthpiece, please. We'll start with that. All right. So you can pause the video and get your mouthpiece. <clears throat> if you feel like you might still be puffing your cheeks or sometimes you do puff your cheeks or you're not sure. All right. I want you to definitely make sure you buzz in front of a mouth, uh, in front of a mirror. All right, because that's really going to help. We got to make sure we're not developing bad habits that are going to take a long time to break. All right. Um, you can also ask a family member to check and see if you're puffing your cheeks at all. Okay. Um, but really the best thing for you to do is to check in front of a mirror and see for yourself. Um, cool. So let's go ahead and buzz. Uh, when I hold my mouthpiece, I like to use just like just my thumb and pointer finger or maybe thumb, pointer finger, and middle finger just to hold it. Um, remember, we don't need any death grips on our mouthpiece. Um, just a few fingers is great. <laughs> All right, guys. Cool. So let's go ahead and buzz. <laughs> awesome. Make sure we're not puffing our cheeks. Cool. Now let's just do some sirens like up and down. <laughs> Cool. Notice when I go low, my mouth just like relaxes and I think, ah, and I slow my air down. And when I go higher, I like firm up and I think faster air. <laughs> awesome. And then we also have been practicing a lot of tonguing. So why don't we do some tonguing on our mouthpiece? All right. So like, t -t 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 See how fast you can buzz on your mouthpiece. Cool. All right, guys, we are going to put our mouthpiece into our trombone. If your trombone is not all together yet, go ahead and pause the video and get your trombone out. Make sure it's together correctly. Remember, rest position, that rubber piece needs to be on the floor. All right, you guys know this. Okay, and let's talk about how we need to hold our trombone. Let's, uh, See if I can make sure you can see this okay. All right, so <clears throat> you have to remember the trombone, it looks weird in this video because of the mirror image, all right? So it looks like it's weird. I don't know, it's just really confusing. Okay, so remember, this is my left hand. This is left, so hold your left hand up. Great, that left hand, thumbs up, that part is gonna go right here. It's like you're giving your mouthpiece a thumbs up, but you're blocked by this bar here. All right. Remember, we need 90 degree angles on our trombone right here. 90 degree angle. Cool. Between the bell section and our mouthpiece and slide section. All right. So thumbs up to my mouthpiece. Then my pointer finger is going to reach out towards the mouthpiece. All right. You guys are probably going to have your finger right here. That's probably as far as you can reach. All right. Anywhere around here is great. These fingers are all going to tuck underneath right here. Okay. That's how we need to hold it with our left hand. And then our right hand we use for the slide. All right. So if I take my slide lock off, my right hand is going to hold the slide. I want just two fingers and a thumb or three fingers and a thumb. Once again, trombones, no death grips. I know I've told you a bunch of you this before in class, three fingers and a thumb, two fingers and a thumb. Either way, no death grips. Cool. All right, guys. So first let's review those three notes that we've been practicing that we learned last week. All right. So why don't we start out with our D. D in fourth position. Cool. So our slide's going to come out so that the top part of our slide that moves is going to be lined up right with the bell. All right. Line that part up with the bell. That's fourth position. So let's play fourth position D together. Just hold the note out. Ready? And great. Now let's play our C together. Remember, we're going to reach all the way out as far as your arm can reach. All right. Don't try to hold it like way out in your fingertips because we don't want to lose our slide. You just hold on to it normal. All right. It's going to be somewhere in this region. All right. Cool. Let's play our C together in sixth position. Ready? And. And then our third note, B flat in first position, all the way up here at the top. All right. 
Well, why don't we have a contest and see who can hold this the longest. Are you ready? Set? Did you beat me? I hope that you practice that so you can beat me. That would be awesome. Okay, cool. So how about we first review one of the songs that you've been working on um, that you practiced this past week. So on page four, let's try Mary Had a Little Lamb. All right, so all your notes are right in your book. Take a look at Mary Had a Little Lamb and why don't we play that together? So hopefully you've been practicing that. If you haven't, go back to last week's video and work on that. Um, work on those songs on that page. All right, but if you have, we're going to play Mary Had a Little Lamb together. I wanna sit so that you can see my slide. I might keep moving around so I can try it in different positions to see if see if you can see my slide better. Okay, cool, number, uh, that fourth one. Mary Had a Little Lamb. Starting on our D, fourth position. Here we go, nice and slow. Let's play it together. One, two, ready, go. Rest. 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 Awesome. Nice job, guys. Okay, so um, let's make sure as we are playing all of these songs today that we're using our tongue to separate the notes. Can we all please play on a B flat first position right here? And we're just going to pretend like, or not pretend, we're going to just work on our tonguing. We did it with just the mouthpiece. Now let's try to play with our whole instrument together and work on our tonguing. Let's play three times in a row together. Here we go. Two, ready, and good. Ta, 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 or to, to, to. With me, play it. Two, ready, and awesome. Cool. We're going to keep working on doing some tonguing. All right, guys. So today, the new page is page five. So let's take a look over at that page. At the top, it says opus one. So this is going to now take all these notes that you have learned so far and put them into uh, the musical staff. Okay. So right at the top, it says 1.1 first note. First note. And for you guys, You've already learned this, but in the musical staff, it's showing you the D, new note D. And then it says fourth. So fourth position D. Okay, for trombone, um, our D that we play right here in fourth position, all right, and that sounds like this. All right, right there on that page that you're looking at, hopefully, is what it looks like. So a musical staff has five lines, right? If you count up from the bottom, one, two, three, that is where the D is on the staff, right? It's the third line up from the bottom, or it's right in the middle. Right in the middle is where the D is, okay? That's always where this D is going to be, okay? So um, why don't we play that, since it's a, a circle with that's empty inside and no lines are going up or down, it's a whole note, so whole note gets four beats. So let's hold that out for four beats. And then the rest part next to it, we're going to just rest for four beats and hold for four and rest for four. Okay, here we go. Let's play it together. Fourth position together. Two, ready, and one, two, count in your head, and Awesome. Now, notice where you just stopped. It has this little blue arrow and it says final bar line, final bar line. So that thick bar line there at the end, that's just telling you that this is the end 
of the song. It's just kind of like in a sentence, you have a period at the end of the sentence that's telling you it's the end of the sentence, right? So that is what it looks like when it's telling you it's the end of the song. All right, cool. Let's go down to number 1.2, four in a row. So this is the same note, D, all right? I'm the same place in the staff, all right? But the difference is now we have four of them next to each other and they're filled in, they're colored inside, and there's a line coming down, right? doesn't matter if the line's going up or going down, that is a quarter note, all right? Anytime it's filled in and it has a line going up or down. Cool, so we have four quarter notes. One quarter note gets one beat. So it's only worth one beat. So that means when we're like tapping our foot or I'm tapping my leg, that's a beat, right? So we're gonna play quarter, 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 or D, 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 okay? Let's try it, we're gonna make sure we're tonguing. Toe, toe, here we go. 1.2 together. Two, ready, and. So then the next one, 1 1.3, second note, C, in sixth position, reaching all the way out. Here, let's try going this way. There we go, sixth position. So, holding it with two fingers or three fingers on our thumb. Okay, so let's hold that C for whole note also, just like we did with the D. Reaching all the way out. Here we go, one, two, count in your head, and... sounds like my C. All right, let's look at the next one down. 1 1.4, 4 more. So same thing. We're going to work on our tonguing on the C. Here we go. 1, 2, ready, go. <laughs> job cool okay now let's do the next one down 1.5 up and down so what we're gonna do is air band it all right so say the names with me as we practice our slide positions from the beginning here we go um, and just to note I didn't say this before that C notice where that C is on the staff okay it's not on a line right so we have five lines in a staff but then there's four spaces in between those lines that C, if you count up from the bottom, is on the one, two, that second space in between the lines, right? So that's where our C is always going to be. So notice the difference between where the D is on the line, the center line, and where the C is on the second space. That's the big difference, the space versus the line. All right, so that's how we're gonna tell the difference. Okay, so let's do 1.5 air bandit with me. Arm all the way out to sixth position. Here we go, starting on our C. Just say it with me, don't play it. Ready, and C, 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 C. One, two, move your slide, and D, 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 D. Move your slide, two, three, four, C, 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 C. Awesome, look at one point uh, five now, and let's play it. All together, let's play it. Here we go. So, all the way out, and one, two, on the C, go. One, two, move your slide, and one, two, make sure you're tonguing, and Awesome. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. Notice I'm not against the back of my chair. I'm sitting up away from it. Feet flat on the ground. Remember, bring the trombone to your mouth. Don't try to bring your mouth to the trombone. You're going to hurt your neck. Okay. Um, and let's do the last one on the page. 1.6, all mixed up. So we're definitely going to airband this one because your arm is going to have to move a lot faster for this. 
Here we go. So let's air band it from the beginning, starting all the way out into sixth position. Here we go. Two, ready, and C, C, D, D. One, two, three, four. D, D, C, C. One, two, three, four. C, D, C, C. Awesome. If you need to, you can pause the video and just practice that last measure. All right, just that last one, because that's the tricky one right there, because it changes a bunch. All right, and once you're ready, we're going to play it together. Here we go, from the beginning. One, two, on the C, go. <laughs> to pause those anytime in the video do it go back work on those work on little spots um, that's really how you you're gonna get better and be able to play the whole thing work on little sections and then put it back together and then try to play it along with me as we as I went through that video just now okay um, awesome so work on page five for next week all right and then we'll keep going um, one other quick thing I just want you to know I've made this Google form um, it's just a quick survey I just want to know if there's anything that you need if there's anything you left at school I know some kids actually you know left their book at school if you left your book I need to know that because I can scan the page of the book in and email it to you and you'd have it and see it all right so um, just be honest let me know if there's anything you're missing um, beneath the video title all right below this is going to be a link um, please right now click on that link do the really quick survey also let me know how these videos are all right if they're working out really well or if they're not i just want to know i need all that feedback so that i can keep trying to make these videos um, the best i possibly can and keep getting better all right guys i hope you have a great week i will see you next time i miss you bye